When it comes to creating shortcuts, macros with the Stream Deck and Keyboard Maestro in Pro Tools, the possibilities are pretty much endless and up to your imagination. I was asked by a friend if it was possible to create a macro to set your track input to no input. I love a challenge, so I'm gonna show you the process I went through to figure it out. So first we wanna do the action to create the macro and see what ways we have to navigate to it. So the first thing that comes to mind is to click and type no input, but in this case, this is not working. So the second thing I'm gonna to try to navigate uh, is after clicking, I'm gonna to try to use the arrows to navigate to it. So if I click and press the arrows up twice, so that moves to the selection I want. And then if I press return, that just does it. So now that's the macro I need to make. In Keyboard Maestro, let's create a new macro. Let's name it no input. Add the action, move or click. Set it uh, at current mouse location. Then we're gonna add the action, type a keystroke. We'll do the keystroke up arrow. We'll duplicate that because we wanna go up twice. Then we'll duplicate that one and we'll do the return key. And that should be it. Okay, now in the Stream Deck app, let's drag the KM link. Let's select our new macro we created and can label it whatever you want and you're ready to test it. And that works great. You can actually set the input to no input and you can use the same shortcut to set to no output if that's what you need. If you're interested in it, I'm going to make this macro available for free on my website. I hope this helped you figure out new shortcuts and I'll see you on the next one.